Pelvic floor dimensions and muscle relaxation on pushing seem to play an important role in vaginal birth, especially the duration of the second stage of labor. Using transperineal ultrasound, both pelvic floor dimensions and fetal head engagement can be reliably and quantitatively assessed. The effect of pelvic floor on fetal head engagement has not been evaluated. The aim of the present study was to evaluate the correlation between pelvic floor dimensions and fetal head engagement as assessed by transperineal ultrasound. The authors measured the anteroposterior diameter of the levator hiatus and the angle of progression at rest under pelvic floor muscle contraction and at Valsalva maneuver in a group of nulliparous women at term before the onset of labor. 282 women were included. The authors found a positive correlation between the angle of progression and the anteroposterior diameter of the levator hiatus at maximum valsalva. Women with levator eni muscle coactivation had narrower angle of progression at rest and under maximum valsalva maneuver. Women with levator eni muscle coactivation had a longer second stage of labor. Smaller pelvic floor dimensions and levator eni muscle coactivation are associated with a higher fetal head station and with a longer second stage of labor in nulliparous women at term.